Hello, welcome to another How to Code Well YouTube tutorial. My name is Peter Fisher, and today's tutorial is the fourth in the Docker image and Docker container series. Today I'm going to demonstrate some more advanced uh, Docker commands. Um, I'm going to look at how to rename containers once we've created them. There's also a command that I'm going to add um, at the end that I'll show you how to run a container um, pretty quickly compared to how we were spinning them up before. So uh, like I said, this is the fourth one. Do check out the uh, the other three. Um, it might uh, it might be easier to watch those before this one, perhaps, because I'm going to skip over some commands that I've already explained. So, OK, the first thing I'm going to do is ensure that I'm in the right machine. So Docker machine um, active. So this will show the active machine should be how to code. Well, yeah, that's correct. And if I did Docker images and Docker PS minus a, you can see that I've got a, a blank slate here. I don't have any images or containers. Um, so let's just clear that down and do what we've done before, which is docker pull. And we're going to just pull from you bun, bun to like so. So that's just going to grab the latest. This is uh, this is what I've done in the previous videos. Nothing uh, nothing remarkable here. We just uh, well it, it is remarkable. We're pulling down an operating system, but you know it, it's not it's not something that I haven't done before. So let's just do docker images just to get the image and the ID. Uh, and then if we did docker uh, run minus it and then use the image ID uh, and we want to jump into bin bash. Okay, so we're, we're now in the bash shell. I'm just going to drop out of that just so I've got the uh, docker container. So docker ps minus a, we can see that it's exited. Now notice that the uh, name is pretty weird. So drunk wing. Uh, th these names are automatically created um, by Docker if you don't specify a name to create. So, for example, if I was to just do um, uh, Docker run, I, uh, oops, there we go, Docker run, and exited out of you, clear the screen, and then did a PS minus A, we can see that we've got another crazy name here as well. So there is a way of renaming these. Um, if we did Docker rename, for example, we can re we specify the name of the current container or the ID of the container, and then the name that we wish to rename it to. And that should now be set to test, and I'll do the same for the other one as well. Um, there we go. So we can rename these uh, these containers. We can also uh, change the name of the container as we run them. So what I'm going to do is just do, do a Docker R. Uh, no, I won't remove them. I'll do a, a Docker run. In fact, I've done that before, so I can uh, go up here. Docker run. So we're going to do Docker run minus it. So that's the interactive shell. But we're also going to do um, minus minus name, and we're going to give that test two like so so um, that should create a uh, container with the name of test two instead of one of these um, names that they automatically produce so let's run that then let's exit out of here um, let's clear the screen and then do docker ps minus a and we can see that we've got um, test two that's been added so we can we can create containers with names, we can rename the containers and so forth. Now notice um, throughout these tutorials, I've been do doing a Docker pull right at the beginning and I've been pulling the image and then creating the container from that image. Well, we can actually do that in one go, which is something that I'm gonna demonstrate right now. So let's just do a Docker RM and I'm gonna remove each one of these containers but instead of um, doing it by the ID, I can actually now do it by the name. So test one and test, whoops, test two. So there we go. Docker PS minus A is empty. And Docker images, we have um, the Ubuntu. So let's do a Docker RMI, remember, minus F. We don't need a minus F because we don't need to force it. Um, we're going to remove that one here. Um, and let's clear and do a docker images. So 
we're, we've started again from fresh. We don't have any images and we certainly don't have uh, any containers running. I can actually um, pull down an image and run it off the bat straight away without having to pull the image down. Um, by default, when you do a, a Docker run and you try and um, run a container that or you know, from an image that you don't have, it'll try and pull it down from whatever registry you're logged into. By default, you have access to the public registry. So I can do docker run um, minus it. I'm gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna call this, um, uh, I don't know, foobar, right? And then I'm gonna say ubuntu, you bun two and because I'm doing it interactively I want it to go into bin bash okay so remember I don't have any images and I don't have any uh, containers at the moment so what I'm doing here is uh, I'm gonna run docker run interactively when it runs it's gonna be in a I'm gonna have a bin bash shell so a bash shell uh, I'm gonna give it the name of foo bar and I want the Ubuntu um, image so I'm gonna do that so it's going to say unable to find Ubuntu latest locally. And when it means locally, it means that there isn't the Ubuntu image on this local machine. So then it's going to pull the image down. So it's going to do exactly what we were doing before. And then it's going to land me into the container with the, um, the bash shell like so. So it's a very easy way of creating containers and creating images just in a single command like that. So let's just exit out of here. So um, let's do an exit docker ps minus a, and we can see that we have the name of foobar. Um, notice also the image is Ubuntu. It doesn't have the actual ID of the image. Um, and that's because the, the image name has also been changed to Ubuntu. So if I went to docker uh, images, um, we can see, yes, it is Ubuntu and, and so forth. So that was a, a very quick uh, tutorial on how we can manipulate the container names and also run the uh, containers uh, pretty quickly from images that we don't actually have on the system. We can pull them down pretty rapidly in one command. I hope you found this useful. If you have, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Please uh, like it and share it along. If you've got any questions or comments, then do leave them in the comment section below. I'll, I'll try and get to them as soon as I can. Um, I try and publish a tutorial or at least uh, you know a web chat once a week. So do subscribe to pick them up. Um, I've done some Docker tutorials before. This, like I said, this is the fourth one. So do uh, do check out the previous uh, three, um, as well as the Docker machine um, series of tutorials. Um, as always, thanks very much for watching and I shall see you again soon.